Good morning, YouTube. It's 86 Dailies here, and today we got a steering wheel review. So right here, here's the new steering wheel. Just got this in yesterday. So this is the carbon fiber $250 eBay steering wheel, and that's what we're going to be installing on the car today. So let's open it right up. Hold on. Wow. This thing is sick. All right. So right off the bat, you can see this red pinstripe here. I love the red. It goes so well with my car. I have this matching stripe going down the center of my car. So that's just perfect. And at the bottom here, we have a nice carbon fiber flat finish or a flat bottom. And then right here, we have the thumb cutouts. It's pretty nice. It's got the red stitching on the inside. And just by holding the wheel like this, it feels amazing. Like for $250, I'm, I'm really gonna like this. I already know. I'm just waiting on my friend Dan to get here so he can help me with this because we're not 100% sure on how to install it. But like, I, I, I kind of know how. I've done a wheel in the past. I've taken my stock one off. I put a D&D on. All right, my boy Dan is here. So what up, Dan? What up? Um, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is disconnect the battery. Why did I just do that? But we're gonna disconnect the battery real quick. We wanna pop this. You're good right there, yeah, just drop it. Ha! <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Take cover. No, look, it's wrapped. All right, all right, all right, we're gonna die. All right. All right, so the next step is you're gonna to wanna to take this clip here on the side of the steering wheel off, and then there's another one on the other side. So you're gonna pop that off, and then there's some metal pins we're gonna to have to do to release the airbag. All right, so I have the thing off now, and if you look, here is the first pin right there. That's the bottom one. It's that little metal wire thingy. If we look up here, the second one is right up in there. You just wanna hit that with a little plier, or a flathead and then it'll release the airbag. All right, this part is really sketchy because the airbag may blow up. Just kidding. We have the, we got the battery disconnected so that's not gonna happen. So you take your flathead, jam it in there. And I think you just pry this thing up. Pop the little orange tab up and then they just pop right out. This one out, but I don't know how to take this one out but I'm pretty sure it's just pull out. Sam's bomb to you, man. These are mine. They are not. I bought them. I bought them. I'm missing the green. Don't touch my tools. I'm missing the green tool thing for my pieces for the You're stressing me out. I need a new pod. <laughs> of views the last one. All right, so I honestly couldn't get this piece off. The YouTube video says it comes right off, but I couldn't get it, so I had to take this whole piece off, which is a, which is okay because both of these are gonna be going onto the other one, onto the other steering wheel. All right, so the next step is you're gonna grab a 17 millimeter socket and loosen this middle bolt almost all the way so you can like get the wheel out of its place but then like it's not gonna hit you because it's gonna get stopped by the bolt. And then you just finger take it off and then take off the steering wheel. And then the clock spring is very important. You don't want to mess with that. Like just let it be. Unplug the wires before you like, like let these wires go through before you take it off because it'll be an expensive fix. Dude, it barely catches. Lefty Lucy, lefty Lucy. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna wanna hold the steering wheel and turn that bitch all the way. Oh. Did I get it? All right, so as I was saying earlier, you're gonna wanna loosen the bolt, but not all the way. And then you're gonna wanna give it a nice shake. See, I broke it free. That's what you wanna do. Finger take off the bolt, as I said. Put the bolt in the middle right there and then you're going to want to take the wheel off very carefully let these little thingies go through and then just put this back at the top 
and you're good. All right, so with this wheel, we're gonna have to transfer all these plastic pieces to here. So you wanna grab your mom's favorite screwdriver and start unscrewing all the screws and putting them on here. Real quick, let's show this new diffuser. So we're gonna put these orange and black things through this hole right here. All right, she's on. No, put it back to straight. Dude, this is gonna be so hard. Dude, the socket barely reaches. <laughs> I'm gonna be driving straight with the wheel sideways after this. <laughs> All right, so I found this little extension thingy. Dude, is this even the right size bolt? It says an 18. I'm supposed to have a 17. If it works, it works. She freaking works. You're gonna wanna do this as tight as you can because you do not want your steering wheel falling off. As tight as you can. All right, so we officially got it back on. All you have to do to get the air back in is just plug in the wires and literally just go like, and same with this, this plastic trim piece, this silver part, to get this back on, you just have to push, like line it up and just push. I'm probably gonna order a carbon fiber one to just complete the look, but overall, this thing is, I give it a 10 out of 10 for the price, like 10 out of 10. Except I have to clean it right here. It has like residue from the tape on here, but damn, this feels nice. All right, so if the airbag blows up, that's how you know you did something wrong. So we want to grab this very scary looking thingy. Ooh. What was that? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. What was that? Mm -hmm. It definitely, like, as soon as I put that on there, like something made a noise, so I didn't like it. I was like, what if it was the airbag when I did that? That would have been so funny. Oh, it's funny. Not good. All right, I don't know if the airbag's gonna blow up, but we're about to find out, so. What? I guess we didn't die. Oh shit, the compressors are about to start running. We're in the car now, we're gonna give it a test drive. Oh, we got a car coming, hold on. It feels amazing. I give it, kid you not, a 10 out of 10 on the feel. the map this is what we're working with pretty sick spot also I wanted to say while I was driving here if we take a closer look at my steering wheel on the back right here there's like these like finger grooves and it feels amazing for when you're one hand driving it oh my gosh so for the wheel I'm gonna say 10 out of 10 highly recommend it so comparing the two wheels the carbon fiber one is definitely a lot more loose, like you gotta steer it more, versus the DD performance one is more like it's stiff, 
you move it, the whole car moves, which is good. I love that, but this one, it's a little loose, so it's different. It's giving me a different vibe, and I'm, I'm truly loving it from, the, from just what I experienced on the, way, on the way down here. So I got to order the carbon fiber piece for the steering wheel that goes around the airbag because the silver one just, it, it looks clean with the silver 86 on the airbag, on the horn, but the carbon fiber would just be 10 times cleaner. But anyways, I'm gonna go take some pics at this farm. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of the steering wheel. Are you guys gonna buy it? If so, let me know. I highly recommend it, honestly. It looks so good. So I got my camera out and then I realized, I went to go take a picture and I realized I forgot the SD card at home. So I'm literally, I'm beat. So I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys like the carbon fiber wheel install video, let me know in the comments. Let me know what I can improve in my videos to get better. Thank you guys for watching.